Hey, how's it going everyone? Saints fan here. Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the locations of all of the brand new houses, as well as you can see the interior plus the exterior uh, to see if you want to purchase them. I'll also show you guys the prices and where they are on the map. The order that I'm going to be showing them in is from most expensive to least expensive. So this first one here, this one is the $800,000 house. And the one good thing about all of these houses is that they do have 10 car garages. So that is good to know because that would have sucked so much if they just had like two car garages. I think Rockstar understands that even though it may be a little crazy to think that these houses can hold 10 cars, people still want that. So that's awesome. Plus, if you guys didn't know, you can actually have five apartments or five properties now with the latest update. The one sort of downside to all these houses, though, is that you cannot customize them. The customization that we saw in the trailer, that's actually just for apartments or for a few apartments. All of the houses basically have the same interior. There is a little bit of a difference in a few of the houses and you can probably see that. I think like some light fixtures are a little bit different. Like the couch is a tad bit different in a few houses as well. And some of the houses have red like paint on the wall. But for the most part, they are basically the same. They're all the three story house. You got the first floor with the like the kitchen and the sofa. Second floor is the bedroom with like the balcony, which unfortunately you can't go out on either, which was kind of disappointing. And then the third floor, because it sort of acts like an apartment, is your heist room. So at least you get all the necessary stuff in these houses. And again, surprisingly, like like most of the stuff in this DLC, th these houses weren't that expensive. I was expecting them to be a lot more. And considering the the biggest and considering the most expensive one is only eight hundred thousand, that's pretty good. I think the least expensive one is like 450000 so they're pretty reasonable if you did want to purchase them. I'm not going to commentate through this entire video, but you guys can just see on the screen, you know, like I said, I'm going in order of most expensive to least expensive, and you can just get an idea of where they are on the map, you know, if you wanted to purchase one. And hopefully this video helps you out with that, just so you don't need to spend money to see, you know, what the insides look like and all that, so... What I want you guys to do uh, as well in the comment section, let me know. Do you think these houses are worth it? I honestly think we hyped them up a little bit too much. I think we were thinking of mansions and these are just regular houses. These aren't anything too special. And Rockstar did kind of trick us into thinking that we would be able to customize them even though we can only customize the apartments. But I will be doing an apartment customization video later on today. So if you guys want to see what the insides of the new apartments look like, I'll definitely be doing a video. But yeah. Hopefully this video helped you out and um, let me know if you plan on buying one of these houses. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy it and found it helpful. Subscribe, all that stuff. And as always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.
Simon I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul 